He said, hey, Wait, really? Porn. That's how much it was? What's hey. going on? <laughs> oh, yeah, that zoom, though. You look good. Thank you. I know, that's why I'm so good at it. <laughs> I just look at myself the whole time. I stare at myself because I, I'm, I, I'm good looking. Sorry. Today is November 25th. No, it's the 25th. It is? Oh my god, it's hot right now. Today is November 25th, and it's a Wednesday. And we are at Friendly's, and you know who this is? This is Hannah. Doesn't she look good? Thanks, took me an hour to get ready. We are just, you know, Eaten, freeloading at Friendly's. Hannah was embarrassed to film, so she made a wall. Hey, okay, we're record. at Friendly's, and um, we got oh, I'm one going meal, and there's three of us. Okay. I'm going to Kentucky later today, that's a thing. I still have not done packing, and I leave in less than two hours. You leave in an hour. I need to go. I gotta go. I need to go. <laughs> I, I gotta go. Just getting some footage here. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. We just got to our hotel in Indiana and I'm exhausted and it's 12.52 a.m. So we're gonna go to bed and Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Not sure what we're gonna do. My mom's in the bathroom right now. Here's our hotel room. This is my bed. It's my mom's bed. So I'm currently in Indiana at the hotel. It's like 11.30 in the morning. My mother decided to go explore the casino, but I can't go in because I'm not 21. Yeah, so I walked around. I went to the gift shop and stuff. Um, today, she's she wants to go something about Daniel Boone. Something. Today is Thanksgiving. I am many, many, many miles away from my home and my family. Well, except my mom, I'm with my mom. We are planning on going zip lining, like underground zip lining on Saturday. So we just got out of the Louisville Slugger Museum. They wouldn't allow me to film in there. What are your thoughts on the museum, Lola? Oh, I love it. It was great. I love the batting cages. Oh yeah, they have batting cages in there and I haven't hit a baseball or softball in a very long time. Breakfast we went to Chick-fil-A because my mother over here has never had it before. She got chicken on a bagel <laughs> and I got chicken on a biscuit because that's what you do for breakfast. You get chicken on a biscuit. So now we are going, where are we going? find all the horses around the city. We're going to look at horses. Oh, that's what we did this morning. We went to Churchill Downs, where they had the Kentucky Derby. Where they have, where they hold the Kentucky Derby. We got a tour of that, and that was fun, because I like horses. And I found out that I can be a jockey. Catch me at the finish line. I'm the exact weight for a jockey. Like, I just make the cutoff. Like, if I was a pound heavier, couldn't do it. We need to buy a horse and I gotta start training right away. As soon as we That's get home. That's the plan. As soon as we, before we even get home, we're gonna go from Logan Airport. Where do you buy a horse? Anywhere. The, the horse farm? The horse, the horse mill? The horse breedery? I can go get Nugget. Yeah. I rode a horse named Nugget. Oh, yesterday was Thanksgiving and we're staying at a casino in Indiana and we had casino Thanksgiving and it was a buffet of every Thanksgiving food that you could ever imagine and it was completely worth it and we should probably come back every year. It was so good. We had spiral, spiral ham, turkey, chicken, prime pork, rib, prime rib, um, mashed potatoes and it was unlimited. So that was good. The food never ran out. So apparently by finding horses, she meant the statue ones. I thought she was talking about like living horses. Yeah, all around the city and I want to find them. All of them? How many are there? I don't know. Did you look up the history? You've got to educate yourself. So my mom and I went zip lining this morning at a place called Louisville Mega Cavern. It's like underground, a cavern. I, it makes sense. It was a lot of fun. I've actually done it before a few years ago 
when I came to Kentucky last time for Camp Rondo. So I brought my, my mom to come do it with me because she didn't go last time. Mega Cavern is underground zip lining, like I said. Um, the difference between a cavern, I learned this while there, the difference between a cavern and a cave is a cave is natural and a cavern is man-made. They had been mining and blowing things up looking for limestone. They were they were blasting for limestone and they just left these caverns and it ended up being a fallout shelter or something and then the company bought it and they turned them into storage and like zip lining courses, like bike riding. Um, it's they have a whole bunch of cool stuff going on there. They also use it for storage for like the salt for the roads in the winter. They filmed some Disney movies in there apparently. Uh, they store a lot of goods because it's kept at a constant temperature. It's very useful for a lot of local companies to store their things in. After that we went and visited my stepdad's friend um, that is working in the area. And then we came to Steak and Shake which is one of my favorite places. I mean, it's not like that good. The french fries are really good. The burgers are okay. But I just really like the You scared me. <laughs> Look at the picture. So bad. Sorry, just so Okay, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted there. So Steak and Shake is one of my favorite places, like fast food wise. I, I don't really like fast food very much, but if I go, I prefer Steak and Shake, but we don't have them in Massachusetts. So every time we go somewhere that has them, it's like our tradition to go. The burgers aren't fabulous, but they're better than like McDonald's. The french fries are fantastic, and they sell like really good milkshakes. The atmosphere is just, it's great, it's like a little retro diner kind of thing. I'm filming in the bathroom right now because the lighting in the room isn't that great. After we ate at Steak and Shake, we went to the mall and I got a few things. I'll just, I'll make a separate video on like everything that I got in Kentucky, I guess. Yeah, I don't know, it's been a fun vacation. We're going home tomorrow. Um, I had a good time. I hope my mom had a good time, I'll have to ask her. Tomorrow I have to wake up like at 3 a.m. and go to the airport. Return our rental car, which is a 2015 convertible Camaro. So that's, that was pretty cool driving that around for a few days. I understand that like the rest of my year or whatever isn't gonna be as good as the last two weeks have been. Well, no, it's only been like a week and a couple days since dropping out of college. They've been fun, but that's only because I just, it happened to be like Thanksgiving and then it's gonna be Christmas next month. So things will start really getting into what it actually is like in January. Today is November 28th. It's currently 6.41 p.m. And although I've had a lot of fun on this vacation, I'm really excited to go home and hang out with Sydney <laughs> and possibly seeing Hannah again sometime soon. She came and visited and we went out to lunch. She lives like a state away, but it's also like a four hour drive. So it's not that doable, but it's doable to hang out with each other. Just gonna be packing and probably editing some of this week's footage together so we don't have to do too much work when it needs to be uploaded and yeah I'll talk to you guys tomorrow or later today if anything happens okay so I got home from Kentucky this morning around noon and I didn't like vlog or anything because I've been really busy with my bedroom and it took me hours to move my bed it was so heavy and if any of you guys shop at Ikea you know that when you build something from Ikea it's supposed to stay where you build it it's not meant to be moved around the room but I did it and I'm, my whole body is sore but so that's where I moved my bed to everything else is piled around now 
My car is actually almost completely emptied out. I'm still trying my best to like get rid of things. Um, I'm a little bit of a hoarder. I get it from my mom, but I'm not that bad. So I'm going through everything again and just like second guessing myself and like getting rid of it. If I had to sit and think, well, I could use it if, if I haven't touched it in the last like six months, it's gotta go. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Um, it's only like 10 o'clock. But I'm going to go to bed so I can wake up early and finish my bedroom and hopefully film two videos, hang out with Sydney and have our, have a meeting, and then have uh, some film dates for our projects set in stone. So, yeah.